as we take a look at our Corona tail of the tape. Corona who invites you to find your beach. There you see the age difference for Fajardo and the height difference is in the favor of Valderas, both weighed in around the lightweight limit and the reach advantage is squarely in the favor of Eder Fajardo of Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Rubble Bank Theater here in Bakersfield, California. Live on FS1, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with six rounds in the lightweight division. The three judges ringside are Abe Bellardo, Ralph McKnight, and Jack Reese. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Marcos Rosales. Introducing Ferns fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white, green, and the red. His professional record stands at three wins, opposite three defeats, two wins coming by way of knockouts. From Matamoros, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, Heather Coreano Fajardo. And across the ring, his adversary fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black with the gold trim. His professional record, one win, that only victory coming by way of knockouts. Fighting and representing Santa Maria, California. He is the 2016 United States Olympian, Carlos Valdera. Carlos, these are good. Full glove into the color is going to be low, you understand? Okay? Claim and commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, let's go. A matchup in the lightweight division, Carlos Balderas, the 2016 United States Olympian, having been victorious over Thomas Smith back on April 9th. He will be 21 in three weeks. He comes from humble beginnings in Santa Maria, California where his family worked in the fields. And we will dive into that later on, but it is a family affair. His trainer, Zenon Valderas, his father, his uncle is also in his corner. Ray Flores, Robert the Ghost Guerrero, Jordan Hardy here. As Valderas starting off strong with his jab, Robert. Oh, yeah, he's starting to establish that jab. Starting to get that ring generalship in there. And Fajardo steps in with the left hook. Now he goes to southpaw. Valderas states that there is no rush when it comes to his professional career, but he is looking to decimate his opposition. He claims that he carries a lot of people's struggles on his shoulders from his hometown of Santa Maria. A large fan following that have made the two hour drive here to Bakersfield. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a story like mine, coming from a small town. Have a lot of people waiting on your shoulders and looking forward to seeing you do good things. Well, Valdetta said Stop that break. it was his goal Get as a young Let's man go. when he was seven, eight years old to make it to the United States Olympic team. That when he was eight, nine years old in third grade, going to elementary school, his father would have him up and they would go running and they would see the school bus pass by and then they would go into class uh, right on time and a right hand by Valdetta. And you see it. on the deck, Marcos Rosales, that could very well be it. A left hook to the body, a paralyzing shot, and this one is over. Two bouts, two first round knockouts for Carlos Balderas. Wow, he set that up beautiful, off the jab, patient, landed a beautiful body shot and put him down, that was a wrap. What an early birthday present. He will turn 21 years of age on August 24th. But the young man has a lot of promise as we take a look at that savage left hook right there. And it sent Fajardo immediately to the canvas. He sat down on his punches. And Robert, you being a body puncher yourself, that has to make you smile. Oh, definitely. Especially him coming from a small town about two hours away from me. It really makes me smile, especially watching him in the Olympics coming up. 
proud to see him fight tonight. There is a reason why there is so much excitement behind this young man. Carlos Barderas is victorious, picking up his second W of his professional career. We'll come back to get the official particulars. You're watching PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1 here in Bakersfield, California as Carlos Balderas vanquishes and then Fajardo by a vicious body shot. And let's take a look at some of this work, Robert. Yeah, beautiful. Set up that body shot, you know, took his time, looked for it and found it. It was that left hook that imploded the right side of the rib cage of Eder Fajardo. And incidentally, it is a family affair when it comes to Carlos Parderas. His father and his uncle are in his corner, but also his grandpa sold his watch years ago so that Carlos and his brother could attend and go to amateur tournaments and continue to grow as young fighters. They would sleep in vans, even if it was cold, so that they can go ahead and save money on hotel rooms. And all of that investment is paying dividends here as Carlos Parderas is now two and oh. oh definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, 36 seconds of the first round for your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Carlos Valderas. That is a very happy young man, deservedly so. And without question, Robert, the future is bright for Carlos Valderas. Oh, most definitely it's bright. Doing a lot of good stuff, staying relaxed in the ring. The one main thing about it is looking at him, what kind of man he is as a, as a young man. Returning the favor to his grandfather and blessing him with a watch. I'd we like will come that. back with more action.